What's up everyone? First upload of the year, so I just wanted to say Happy New Year's to you all. I hope 2018 has started well for you. Some of you subscribers may have noticed that in the past few days I put out a poll using the YouTube community section and I was basically just asking what systems do you want to see me upload for next? So the poll went really well, it's got 780 votes and almost half of you voted for the PlayStation Vita, that was really surprising to see. So as I said in that poll, I'll use those votes to determine the order of my next few uploads. So it should come as no surprise that today's video we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Vita and specifically we're going to be looking at something that's been requested for quite a while, that is how can you use cheats on a PlayStation Vita. So it's probably pretty good news that I'm only covering this now and the reason for that is there were two earlier tools which we could use to cheat. They were called Rincheat and Gohan Mem. So those were the first two tools and they were designed to work with VPK and MyDump format games. The thing is, since that time though, we've recently had no NPDRM format games and they've kind of taken over as the new norm. The best way you can run a backup game on the Vita is when they're in that format. So thankfully there is a third newer tool. It's just called Vita Cheat and that's the one I'm going to be talking about in this video because Vita Cheat can work in no NPDRM formatted games as well as VPK or MyDump format games, so it's got that going for it. Not only that, but those who actually like to search through the memory in games to create their own cheats have reported that Vita Cheat is much faster than Gohan Mem was, so quite a few advantages to running Vita Cheat over the other tools. So as always, to get started, we're gonna to need to send some things to the Vita, so go ahead and open up Vita Shell and push select to start up an FTP or USB connection, and then we'll go ahead and switch to the computer. Okay, so on the computer, check the first link in the video description and download VitaCheat. So it's a compressed folder, you'll need to go ahead and extract it. And in here, open the 4 beta folder. And then there's three more folders in here. Now these are the files we're going to need to transfer to the Vita. So I'll just move this to the side. And here's my FTP software. So the first thing we'll do is open up UXO. And in the download UXO folder, there's just a Vita cheat folder. So we need to place that inside the UXO directory on your Vita. Great, so we've got that folder there now. Back a step, we also need to browse to URO and move this Vita cheat folder through as well. And then there's a config folder. And we need to place a different line into our existing URO tie config file on the Vita. So I'll go ahead and move this config file to my computer. And I'll edit it with Notepad++. So I've currently got two kernel plugins here. But in this config.txt, we can see at the bottom there's an additional line. So we just need to take that line and put it under kernel. It needs to be under the kernel for our config. So I'll put that line in and save it. And then move that back to the Vita and overwrite the existing config. I just find it's a little bit easier to do that editing on the computer rather than trying to add the line in through Vita shell. So once we have those things moved through, we can close the FTP software and switch back to the Vita. And back on the Vita, since we've just made changes to the plugins, we're going to need to restart our Vita for those changes to take place. So you can just push start in Vita shell and then come down to reboot. Quickest way to do it. Now when your Vita comes back on, go ahead and open up Vita shell again. And if we check the UXO folder and then go for Vita cheat, we can see that there's now quite a few new folders in here. We didn't move these in from the computer, but when it first runs the plugin, it creates these folders for you. So VitaCheat is now running as a plugin and it's set up and ready to go. But before I go ahead and show it to you, I'm gonna also get some cheat files so that I can show the effects of cheats working in a game. So I'm gonna put the Vita back into FTP mode and switch back to the computer. Back on the computer here, I'm connected to the Vita again. So if we go back for UXO and then find the VitaCheat folder, now that there's the new DB folder here, this is the directory where we can actually store cheat files. So cheat files for VitaCheat get formatted as .psv 
files and they're basically just notepad files. So I've got two cheat files here. You can see they've got a game title ID as the file name and these two games are actually Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. So if I just go ahead and open one of these up with notepad, you can see this is the format that the cheats take. They've got the title and the game name at the top and then scrolling down we can actually see the memory addresses for the cheats um, as well as a title or a description for what the cheats do. So there's a number of cheats in here. So what I'll need to do is take both of these cheat files and move them through to that DB folder in the Vita Cheat UXO directory. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description to one of the best repositories I've found for Vita Cheat cheat files. If you don't find the games that you're looking for there, you can also Google search because there's a number of people that are out there trying to work with finding these cheats and they're shared all over the place. So you kind of just have to search and see what's out there for the games you're wanting to cheat in. So now that we have some cheat files to play with, I'll close the FTP software and let's head back to the Vita. Okay, so we now have all the files we need in place. Now worth mentioning before I show this off, the cheats that you find online, they are different formats for different regions of the same game. So for example, Metal Gear Solid 3 was released in, you know, US, Europe, Japan. So if someone's shared cheats for the Japanese version online, they won't necessarily work for the US version due to differences of the content in the game. And the same can also be said about games that are dumped as my dumps and games that are dumped as no NP DRM. There are also some slight differences there, so you really need to make sure that you're getting cheats for the specific version of the game that you have installed. And of course, if you can't find anything out there for the game you're wanting to play, there is always the option of learning the software and learning how to search for memory addresses and create your own cheats. All right, so I'll go ahead and start up one of the games we have cheats for now, namely Metal Gear Solid 3. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. So here we are, we've arrived in the Russian jungle. Now when your game's loaded, you can hold down the L button and then tap right on the D-pad. And that will go ahead and start up Vita Cheat if you've installed it correctly. So there's a few options in here. If we move to the right and then push circle, we can see here it's detected that I have a cheat file for this game and it's also got a list of all of the cheats. So with the cheat file I'm running, these three blue cheats were on by default. You can select a cheat by pushing up and down and then just push square to turn them on and off. So I'll go ahead and turn these three cheats off and I'll turn on hiding 100 out of 100. So if this cheat's working, it should take snake stealth level to be 100 at all times. So with that done, I'm gonna push X and then X again to close out of the cheat plugin. And sure enough, if you look at the top right of the screen, we can see that Snake is 100% stealthy all the time with this cheat enabled. That's pretty interesting. Let's go get his gun back as well. So now that we have a weapon, we'll open up the cheat menu again, take another look, and let's try no reload. So sure enough, with infinite ammo and no reload enabled, you can see he's not running out of any bullets and he also doesn't have to reload. So that's pretty sweet. So you can see there's some fun things that cheats can enable which normally wouldn't be possible within the game. So I can see the draw to them. They can be cool for exploring games or testing things out for speed runs and all kinds of stuff i guess so there are a number of other areas in the program as well go search is an option used to help find memory ranges which might be pertaining to the items or variables that you're wanting to tweak uh, browse memory gives you an overview of how the game's memory is currently laid out it's obviously quite detailed but you do get the hang of this kind of stuff once you get into it there's an options menu here which just has some program settings as well as I think some overclock settings. And there's also the cross memory option. This is used to export memory from the game to a bin file which you can then view on your computer. And you can also import changes to memory back in through this option as well. So these sorts of options will be familiar to those of you that have dabbled with memory cheats before. And if you are wanting to learn more about how this program works and how you can create your own cheats, I'm going to be including two more links in the description. 
and they are to PDF user files for the actual PS Vita software itself. So the first file talks about all of the settings of the program and how it works. And it also walks you through some examples of how you could search for memory values and create your own cheats. And then the second file talks all about the formatting and structure of the cheat files themselves and what you can do with those. So there you have it guys. That's the latest and greatest tool we can use for cheating on the PlayStation Vita. And I hope that helped get some of you started with cheating in beta games. So I'll be sure to follow the rest of those poll results in order and get the next system uploaded within the next few days. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.